Hey guys, a couple of weeks ago I did a first impressions video on the Conair Perfect Pony and since then a lot of people suggested that I try out the Conair Perfect Bob. So the packaging says short hair in minutes, change your look, easy to use, and at the back they give you instructions on how to use the product. This particular kit only comes with one item in the box and when you open it you should find something that looks like a headband. The only difference is that there's an adjustable clip which you can move up and down. Now I'm going to try this out for the first time by following the instructions on the back of the box. So step one says, with the small loop, make a ponytail at the back of your hair. Secure ponytail by adjusting the slide on the outside of the ponytail to tighten or loosen it. Gently pull ponytail down to where you want your bob to fall. For step two, bring the large loop over your head and let it hang around your neck. Step three, in the back, gather your ponytail ends and tuck them up and under the hair. If you have medium length hair, this part will be a breeze for you, but if you have long hair, make sure to roll all the ends up. As you can see, my fan is on full blast because we're in the midst of a sizzling heat wave and this is how I'm dealing with it right now. If you have other ways to cool off, let me know in the comments below. Alright, so step 4 says lift the large loop to the crown of your head, headband style. Evenly spread and adjust the bobbed hairstyle for a natural look. If you've never met my mom, then here's your chance because guys, this is exactly what my mama looks like. The front of the hairstyle doesn't look too bad, it actually reminds me of the 90s, but if you play around with it too much, the shorter layers will start to stick out. So if you want to trick your fans into thinking you got a haircut, then this will work because the front looks quite legit, however the back is a different story. Because I have long hair, it looks poofy and unnatural and it also feels loose, so once you shake it, the ponytail just flops right out, which is no bueno. Now I'm going to take it off and try it one more time, but on this second try, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Since formal updos tend to stay put when the hair is teased, I'm going to try teasing my hair. So I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to back comb my ponytail. Then I'm going to follow the same steps as before, so roll in your ponytail and tuck it underneath the hair. Right away I can tell you that this will probably work better if you have thick hair. My hair is very thin at the back so the bun sticks out and you can obviously see it so it doesn't look pleasing. After I filmed this video I also tried back combing the hair at the crown of my head to add some volume and it looked alright but it was far from the perfect bob so I don't think this product is for me. Teasing does help though because when you shake your head nothing pops out like earlier. I honestly don't mind what it looks like from the front, but the back just doesn't cut it for me. I've actually done a short hair tutorial which looks a lot better, so if you guys want to see that video, I'll please link to it in the video description below. Although this only retails for 3 to $4, it's not something that I would recommend to people with long or thin hair, but if you have medium length hair, this might work for you. If you've tried the Connor Perfect Bob or the Hot Bob, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Ciao! Subscribe to my channel to be notified of new videos and feel free to check out my other hair tutorials.